Today we're going to talk about floaters. One of my favorite floaters, Frog Bit. As you can see here, I got the roots to be long, thick, and really gorgeous. I'm going to show you how I did that today. Here's some Salvinia I mixed in with a frog bit. And my little beta. I oh, love my beta. So if you want long, thick roots like this, I'll show you how I did it. You're actually going to want to have a vase or a jar. Preferably taller rather than wide. You fill it with dirt on the bottom. It's got to be organic dirt. You don't want all those pesticides and stuff in it. And then you stick the floaters on top. And you stick the jar in a window seal or in front of a window. Now when you've got the roots to grow as long as you'd like, and preferably you'll notice the roots will be growing into the soil, you then pull it out and stick it in your tank. When I first did this, I thought maybe the roots would like melt away, but nope. And by comparison, you can see these are frog bit that I have in my other tank, and the roots are not near as uh, thick and pretty. There's just definitely a big difference between the two. Not that that's a bad thing. Healthy plant's a good plant. But I love that look of the long roots that just drape to the bottom. Anyway, if you found my video helpful, please do give me a thumbs up and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day.